In this video, you will discover algebraic shortcuts using visual representation of square numbers. As squares of blocks as our starting point, learning to think about algebra pictorially can significantly strengthen your general mathematical abilities, especially if you are a more visual thinker. Let's start with the question, what is 7 square minus 6 square? By the way, there is a faster way to solve 7 square minus 6 square than calculating the two squares and then subtracting. First, think about what is left after subtracting the small square of blocks away from the larger one. This piece represents the difference 7 square minus 6 square. And there are 7 plus 6 which equals 13 blocks. So what did we know from this? If we want to subtract two consecutive squares, then it is enough to add their bases. Extend the shortcut we just used to calculate the value of this expression efficiently. What is 2022 square minus 2021 square? If you apply the shortcut correctly, you won't need to calculate the value of either of the squares in the expression. Now let's take this reasoning and visualization one step further with the question. What is the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 40? You could just add the numbers up one by one, but there is a pictorial trick you can use to solve this in seconds. To start, let's look at just the 5 odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. If you pictorially represent them in number of blocks of upside down L shaped piece, we can see a useful pattern. The first 5 odd numbers form a 5 by 5 square. If you put all these observations together, the conclusion is beautiful. Generally, the first odd number forms a 1 by 1 square. The first 2 odd numbers form a 2 by 2 square. First 3 odd numbers form a 3 by 3 square, then 4 by 4 and so on. In general, the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. Here why 2n minus 1? Since 2n minus 1 is a general form of odd number, let's see why with an example. We all know that the fifth positive odd number is 9. This 2n minus 1 should be correct when we give 5 in place of n, we get 9. Let's check that now. If we give 5 in place of n, we have 2 times 5 minus 1, which equals 10 minus 1, that is 9. So the bottom of the line is, the sum of the n positive odd numbers is equal to n squared. Now let's use this to find the sum of the odd numbers between 0 and 40. There are 20 odd numbers between 0 and 40, so their sum must be 20 squared or 20 times 20, which equals 400. That is a similar trick for summing the first n even numbers. For that, let's get started by taking first 3 odd numbers. 1, 3 and 5. Since there are first 3 odd numbers, some of them is 3 square, which is 9. Ok, now what if I add one block to all of the odd numbers? This 1 becomes 2. This 3 becomes 4. And 5 becomes 6. Now as you can see, these are all first 3 even numbers. And if we combine them like we did before, 
we get this 3 square plus 3 blocks. Similarly, if we add first 4 even numbers, we get 4 square plus 4 blocks. And also for 5 even numbers. And so on. So what is the sum of the first n even numbers? I hope you guessed that. Yes, n square plus n. Summary To put your new knowledge into practice, try the your turn questions below.